Matter, and we are here today giving you a tour of an Airstream from the North Trail RV Center in Fort Myers, Florida. This is a beautiful place and we learned something significant today that the three of a very limited amount of master masters that know everything about Airstream are actually here. So this is a good place to uh, get in contact. So we've now got some people that can answer all your questions around Airstream. So if you've got any, please put them in the comment section so that we can talk to the people who know and get you the best answers possible. Today we're going to take you on a tour of the 2020 Airstream Caravel 16 RB. This is a very cool and small trailer. Uh, we want to point out some of the differences because remember Airstream has a lot of similar floor plans but they'll be just uh, between the different levels there'll be a few extras and we'll try and point those out for you as well. Uh, at the end there'll be links to the nuts and bolts construction of the Airstream and you can click on that for more information or there'll be an adventure. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. We love having you along. So let's get busy and take a look at this trailer. So from the front you get your beautiful Airstream iconic windows and they have the covers on them to protect them. The Caravel also has the actual rock uh, covers here as well to protect the aluminum. You do get two 20 pound propane tanks and an electric jack so that's significant to the Caravel as well and your battery box is back there. Hope you can see that. And then looking down um, you do get on these smaller trailers uh, four manual stabilizer jacks. Okay, so coming around to this side, another feature for uh, the Caravel is that you get the uh, window covering awning. So you just pull that little thing down and hook it in this hook here and it gives your windows some shade. So that's nice. Um, you do get your uh, water fill here, your city water connection, uh, a tank flush, and an outdoor shower. And if we look down, you di these are on single axles. I mean, they're small, light trailers, right? You get the aluminum wheels, and the tires on this are the Goodyear Endurance uh, ST225 slash 75R15. Um, and I want again, go to the construction video because there's more there about the torsion axle system and all that kind of stuff. Uh, coming back, what else do I have? Oh, you have your 30 amp connection, you have um, cable connections, and then down here is where you're going to hook up your sewer. And what's important to note is that there's only one valve here because this trailer has a combined black and gray tank. Um, and, you know, pay attention to this because it is a bit lower back here, so you wouldn't want to hit that on anything as you're going over a bump or something like that. You do get the nice little light there and again the jack. So come around to the back. Again, the Caravel um, has the cover over the window to give it some shade and the uh, backup camera is there as well. You get some storage here. Let's check that out. Oh wow. Oh, I know what's going on here. Okay, so I bet you, you can access this from both sides. So that's handy, right? Depending on what you're looking for. Because probably on the inside you have to climb under a bit. So this could be nice for some things. So that's good. Lots of storage there. And of course, Airstream always gives you the bins, which I like. And you get bumper storage here. Now, these are these clips are interesting to me and I'm afraid of them to be really honest with you. I'm always afraid of breaking them. Okay, so once you've got them facing in that direction, you can just lift them and the whole thing lifts up. So you do have that bumper storage. I just wish they would go to a different type of uh, fastener because I'm just afraid those are gonna break. Okay, let's go around to the other side because 
the Caravelle again has some uh, extra features here in that you've got this other awning that comes down and again this is going to be a manual awning and I'm going to need to check because I'm not sure whether it has lighting in it or not but I sure hope so. You do get um, the electric there and let's talk about this step because this is again a bit different um, and it just does that way easier than the other step. I, I think that's that's a real feature. Okay so let's talk about the door and the screen. Okay so the latching system is the same as we see on most of the uh, Airstreams where you just push this little button and lift it. You also get your screen door which is an upgrade as well because it has this extra piece here protecting the screen. Always you get that cool Airstream shape that goes with everything um, and I just love. <laughs> I just do. So let's go inside and take a look. Come on. Nice and cool in here, hey? Honestly though, think about that. Uh, we'll continue to film here. The AC is running. It's nice and cool and it really isn't that noisy. It's quite quiet. So coming in on the entrance here, uh, we got the, your hooks and a whiteboard if you wanted to leave me a message, Cor. And then over to the dinette area. Let's see, underneath here is a drawer. So uh, again, look at the construction video. We talk about the cabinetry. It's got the metal rollers. It, this is a nice size of drawer, so I like that. Uh, and the same with the, uh, it's not a leather. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Look at the construction video. But this would be like a super easy to keep clean and wipe down and it's quite uh, smooth and comfortable as well. So here I am sitting at the Airstream table with these awesome windows. Again, I can't open this one for you because the outside one is closed, but this is the, here, let me move the plant. This is the standard Airstream. Uh, you turn these and then you have to lift those. So the challenge that I'm seeing here is that for us, this is a two person window. There's no way that I'm gonna reach that and this to open them together. Um, so that's the challenge for me there, but I still love them. I love this. And for those of you who need your blackout blinds, these uh, come right around and we've used them in the nest. So I know they work very well, but they are a bit of a bugger on these little roller things, but they definitely block out the light for you. So if that's an issue, don't worry about it. Um, you also, because this can make down into a bed, you do get reading lights and you've got light here. The mechanism for making it down into a bed is different uh, than some of them in that you push this little button here and the leg folds up and then the uh, right here, these pieces come out of here and fold down so that the table goes down and sits under here and you've got all these cushions that then make it into a bed. So if you need to sleep extra people in here, you can. I think I'd just leave it at two. <laughs> this is quite a decent size table. Um, I wish they would move to some sort of solid surface. It is a laminate with a strip, but you know, it's, um, it's a decent table. I just would like it. This is a pretty high end trailer and I think it could have a better high end tabletop. Let's go up and look at the storage. So these are sliders, which I like. Okay, so this is just a control. This is the part that I have a bit of a problem with, is that this actually is the level of the bottom of the cabinet. So now my fingers are at the bottom and you can see how much space that I can't even see what's there. So I do wish, and I know it's just an Airstreet thing, it's about the curves and it's about the brand and I totally get that. Uh, but for me, that's a tough, because I can't even see what's in there. But it is plenty of storage. Very nice. Okay, you get speakers, then moving around to the kitchen area. Again, um, we're talking a small trailer here. 
so you're getting a small kitchen. You can't have it all, and this trailer is a made-up bed. So I'd rather the countertops be a higher quality. This is a very fancy, nice uh, two-burner propane stove that I think is great. The thing that bothers me about it is that in a kitchen of this size where I don't have a ton of countertop space, I can't cover this and use it as prep space or anything like that. So yeah, I think that would be different. But you do have the table as well that you could use for prep space. So you know, and I mean it's a small space, you can work it out. You do get uh, electric, you get a low profile uh, range hood, you get a small but functional uh, refrigerator and I will get you the details on that and you get the beautiful iconic Airstream windows in this kitchen and I love those I truly do love them I just want to show you how the blinds work on that so I'm going to move the beautiful decorations out of the way so you can see these are a roller blind and they just pull down and then they hook in these little things right here. I think they're great. I think they're great quality uh, blinds. I like the way they hook in because remember, we're talking about curved walls here, so it's tough to make things like blinds work. I like that they're clean and it looks good. Now, they just roll back up and they're pretty strong, so you want to hang on to those things. This is a wonderful uh, tap really like it and it's got a sprayer so these are some you know the quality upgrades that you get when you move up to the caravel very nice uh, stainless sink with the little uh, cutting board thing but it falls right in oh maybe it goes this way yeah if you lay it that way so that gives you you know a little more uh, space for putting things if you uh, still need your sink so I like that, and I love that it's got the cutting board. The problem for me on a single sink is that when I'm using the cutting board, um, I can't be using the sink, because I like to wash and then cut, and wash and then cut. So that's kind of an issue for me. What do we got for storage? Well, let's go up first. So you've got quite a bit of storage up here, but it's the same thing in that this rounded stuff. So like if my plate was there, I'd really have to dig to get at it. Good lighting. You've got um, your tank levels, your uh, oh, your water heater, that kind of stuff. Uh, you get a little drawer there with good room for your utensils and things. And then you move down and we get, I'm just looking to see if this is just, yeah, this is going to be just a microwave. But it's fine. And again, what I like about the placement of this microwave is that I don't have to reach up high to get something hot out that could fall. It's, to me, that's just a better location. And then you get some more storage down there. Yeah. So next, we've got the closet space. Oh, let's also notice that there is a uh, curtain here that kind of goes around and you would be able to close off the bath bedroom closet away from the main living area if you so chose. So in the closet, uh, it's pretty high, but it's deep. You should that closet rod's a bit high for us, but you could fit a lot of stuff in here right down to this is where they've got the garbage. Hmm. Not sure if I love that placement of the garbage or not. Just, I don't know if I want my garbage in with my clothes. Anyhow, you get this made up bed. Everything's a pro and con in these small spaces. You got to choose what is most important to you. For Corey and I, we must have a bathroom, which this trailer does, and we really, really love a made up bed just because it's just the last thing we want to do at the end of the day is make up a bed. And so this bed would work out perfectly fine for us. I'll get you the actual dimensions on it, but I know that I would sleep in here close to the windows and be in the little fishbowl, which I would love. It does have the shades again so that you could uh, get privacy or block out light if you so needed to. There's controls over on this side um, and then there's more storage up here, right? So same as the rest, you, but you can fit a lot of stuff in there. And there's a TV on this side 
right over here and it's on an arm that would swivel out so that we could watch TV if we wanted to. So I like all of that. Um, I also want you to look up and see that uh, this has got a ducted AC system, LED lighting, venting, it's all very nice. It's clean, yet it still provides everything and you still get that beautiful aluminum look that, you know, I love about air. Okay. okay, let's check out the bathroom right in here. So, ooh, let me see. It's an all-in-one wet bath. It does have the beautiful windows. Um, it does have curtains. Where are my fixtures? Right here. So, decent Delta uh, fixtures. The toilet is at uh, a good level for us, and I believe it has a foot flush. It does. Porcelain. Um, there's a seat. You get cover. You can cover these windows. You don't actually have to shower with <laughs> the windows open. Um, light vent. I can reach everything, but there's one downside for us. And we've known this because we've experienced it. And we've had lots of commenters share with us that it's not a problem for them. So again, it's up to you and what works for you. But Corey and I need a even the smallest little sink in the bathroom. Um, just the way we travel, the way we live when we're in our RV, and we would need that. So that's kind of a bummer about this one. Um, but for many of you, it's not a priority and you're not worried about it. So this could be just perfect. Uh, I like everything else about it. I like the windows. I like the size. This is a better toilet size than the one we had tried out. So I'm liking it. Now, the decor in this particular rig is a, kind of a mixture of darker, there's a few darker walls, darker seats, but then it's got these brighter cabinets and of course reflecting off of the aluminum with the big windows. I don't feel, I mean we're in a teeny tiny trailer and I do not feel caved in in any way. I feel like I have lots of space and of course no slides in an Airstream. <laughs> That's how it goes. So yeah, this is great. Let's take a look at the numbers though and see what the weights and tank size and stuff is. Numbers for the 2020 Airstream Caravel 16RB. I remember we're talking about a small trailer here. So exterior length 16 foot 2 inches, exterior width 8 feet, interior width 7 foot 7 inches. The exterior height with the AC is 9 foot 7 inches. Uh, the hitch weight with propane and batteries is at 490 pounds. The base weight with propane and batteries at 3,200 pounds. The GVW is 4,300 pounds and the net carrying capacity 1,100 pounds. Fresh water tank is 23 gallons and then the gray black combo is 28 gallons. Um, it's got the AC with the heat strip at 13,500 BTUs. It has a ducted furnace at 12,000 BTUs. And then the refrigerator is 3.1 cubic feet uh, two-way. The uh, master bed in the back there, 48 inches by 78. And then this dinette area makes down into a bed that's 40 inches by 91. Um, it also has a 1,000 watt pure sine wave inverter and it's prepped for uh, solar, but you, to get the full solar package with the panels and everything is an optional upgrade that you can have. So that covers everything on this Caravel 16 RB. Hope you liked it. Give us a thumbs up, click subscribe if you haven't already. Check on one of the links at the end here to get you to the nuts and bolts construction or come along on an adventure. We'd love to have you. Thanks for watching.